so sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry for what? Uh, who are you? Uh, well, I'm this young lady's father. Really? He seems to be spooked. Can I explain that? Well, <laughs> you see, she was just going to visit the doctor. Really? Yes. And, you know, kids nowadays, they, they like going to checkups. Mm, I suppose not. Is Yuku looking down at Eri? She's just holding him in midnight tighter, in which she's like, mm, something is definitely not right here. And beginning to spark up one for all, but midnight stops him. Um, could you explain to why your daughter is dressed like this? It's her nightgown. Likely story. Alright. But what about the bandages? Mm, she wanted to pretend to be a mummy. Hmm. And she seems to be quite scary, you too, doesn't she? Well, I am taking her to the doctor. Is yes, as she's going, is starting to get a better look. Starting to slowly realize that that is midnight. He's looking at. He does slowly t start to take off his glove, but this is a time when midnight recognizes him way faster, and pulls a pin, throwing a grenade right at him. It bursting, and the whole area. He's, the alleyway is surrounded by her quirk as she tells Izuku to book it as she arrests Chisuke. She does call, of course, Aizawa, in which he does make sure that Chisuke cannot use that pesky quirk of his. And would you, yeah, <sighs> Minai is thinking her lucky stars considering. She knows how dangerous that quirk is. Yeah, nothing you really want to be exposed to. As for Eri, she's clinging for dear life when it comes to Izuku. Him's like, oh, come on, I have to. <sighs> yeah. You're tired, huh? And again, he probably did breathe in some of Midnight's quirk, so it would make sense. <sighs> I guess no patrol today. As he, uh, he's a go, he falls asleep with Eri in his arms. When Midnight does get home, she is welcome to the sight of Izuku holding Eri. In which it is the most wholesome and adorable scene she can think of to the point where she takes a picture of it. Izuku being woken up by the flash, trying not to wake up Eri, but also like, what did you do? <sighs> I just had to commemorate the occasion. You're so good with kids. Huh? Uh. Oh. Yeah. No, no, it's not like that at all. It's just your quirk. Yeah. It makes sense that she would be offended by my quirk, but you were far enough away, weren't you? Yeah, just 
admitted you're a softie. Uh, what? I, 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 don't try to. Oh, I ain't denying anything. I mean, if anything, I thought that was well established. I mean, if anything, that makes a better cover considering what we were planning on doing. Really? Now, what may tell Midnight starting to get closer to Izuku, about to kiss him? Like, yeah, you know, patrol for staying. Uh. Oh. Yeah, 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 of, of course. For Stain. Yeah. I remember. Uh. What'd you. Did you think I meant something else? Uh. No. <laughs> no, no. Uh, don't, don't be ridiculous. I. What else could you have possibly meant? Oh, good, no, good, good, great. Asshole. I'm sorry? Nothing. <sighs> Can't believe I got my hose up for nothing. Are you alright? I'm fine. Let's just put this kid in a bed and go do our patrol. Actually, what? You're not coming with me, per se. Huh? <sighs> Don't get mad. Oh, well, it depends on what you're about to say next. <laughs> okay. You are going to sabotage the heroes hunting me down. What? Oh, come on, you can't be serious and say you didn't notice that people are looking for me now. Uh. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have acquired that kind of information. Right. So, it would be very problematic if, you know, I did end up getting captured. Heck, it's hard enough not getting exposed whenever I do run to heroes. Huh. Actually, yeah, how do you do that again? And just enveloping himself in Black Whip. <laughs> Incredible. And seriously, do you think you might unlock any more quirks? Anything's possible. If anything, I'm definitely going to need to do some research on this, I guess. But at the very least... Hmm. So, you want me to join the task force that are supposed to be hunting you down so I can sabotage them. Yep. And you don't see a problem with that at all. Problem? Um, what do you mean? If I get caught, I am screwed and not in the fun way. Uh, oh, right, right. You completely forgot, didn't you? No, no. Did you really forget that I am staking my whole hero career over you and your little vendetta? Uh, no. Of course not. Of course you forgot. Ugh, it's hot. Hard, very hard for you to just not be so goal oriented. You, you really need to start paying attention to your surroundings. You know that, right? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 I know, and I apologize. <sighs> Oh, 
as long as you know that it's a problem that you need to work on, I guess it's alright. I still can't believe this. I'm going to be hunting down my husband while sabotaging the team that's supposed to be hunting you down. <laughs> oh well. I guess at the very least maybe we'll find Stain first and bring to justice. Wait, what? What do you mean? Wait, you didn't consider the fact that the task force hunting you would possibly find Stain and put him behind bars? You idiot! Uh, I, 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 it's you are telling me for real. You're telling me that you didn't realize that you wouldn't be the only talker. That they would be hunting for stain as well. That they could find him before you. And, Oh, you are too adorable to be this stupid. Uh, hey, 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 there's no need for that. Those rude words. Oh, no, I have a lot more words to tell you. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when you don't stop and think. <sighs> But yeah, there's always a chance that we'll find Stain and put him away before you. <sighs> I just can't believe you didn't realize that. Me, me neither. And that part of me is kind of hurt. Well, a little bit of my pride has been wounded. Pride. Never knew you to have such a, a thing. <sighs> anyway, I pretty much get the gist of the plan. Make sure you don't catch you, and as well as the added benefit, if they catch Stain, make sure you know. Yep, pretty much. <sighs> Honestly, what have I got myself into? Just think of this as somewhat of a bonding experience for us. Lying to the authorities on knowing who the vigilante is. Keeping the fact that you are the vigilante crippling Villains! Wait. Now that I think about it. What? Oraka did talk to me not too long ago. Oh, really? About what? You cut off someone's fingers? This person from the League of Villains cut off his fingers. Uh. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I did. Why? He was going to kill me. How would you know that was even going to work? I, I didn't. So you use this new quirk you learned to do something you've never done before. <sighs> I don't know if you're an idiot or a genius. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. Just make sure you come home safe. That is all I require. 
I said, oh, anyway, I'm going to forgive you is that you keep coming back home in one piece. I want to see a tooth missing or chipped. I want to see a finger broken. And so help me God if there is even a tuft of hair out of place where you get home. Wow. What? You sound like a wife right about now. I guess I do. Wow, look at here. We're already arguing like a couple. Yeah. Yeah, we already have a kid to take care of. I guess this one's potty trained. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Though, yes, we may be uh, holding on to her for now. <laughs> what? I would still want kids that were biologically ours. Huh? As yes, Midnight Jumps Izuku. Him blushing like. Pretty much. Can't help can Izuku would blush. Midnight pretty much saying that. Yeah, yeah. Just because we technically have a kid now through this airy girl does not get you off the hook that I want biological kids that are biologically ours. <laughs> oh, believe me. Once our honeymoon starts, that ass is mine. <laughs> Oh, you sleep well tonight. Wait, 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 you don't just do that. Do what? Night. As, yeah, Izuku skips patrolling that day. You know, he just can't stop but think what Midnight just did to him. Oh my God, what's happened to me? Ugh. It was so much simpler back then. All I had to do was worry about this quirk and ugh, make sure I don't embarrass all my or myself. Ugh. Oh man, this is just ridiculous. Why? Why did it have to get so complicated? As now, it is time for the for his training. Is it good? Does a hell of a lot better than all things considered. I mean, hell, he's one of the first people to actually get there. Actually, exceeding not only the expectations of the Wild Pussycats, very exceeding the expectations of one Pixie Bop. In which, yeah, as you can imagine, she marks her territory again. She didn't know about that whole patrol thing. In which, she can feel the malice emulating from one known as Oraka. And she does hold on to Izuku's arm. Pixie Bob is kind of like, okay, I'm... Okay, I see you have a... A little, a little something there, don't with him, huh? Alright, that's saying quiet. Izuku's like, wait, what? what? Oh, don't be shy. If you already had a girlfriend, you could have just told me. But that does not mean I'm gonna give up on you. Is Araka kisses Izuku? Everyone in class shot because not only is she showing that she is not backing down at all. She's showing that, yeah, Midnight is not going to get one over on her. If anything, she's going to get as many points as she can with Izuku. Pixie Bob is shocked by the bravery. Not only 
saying her claim on Izuku, but also to do it in public. Just, I only open so willingly, so nonchalantly. It is impressive. But, uh, yes, as far as when it comes to Koa, Izuku does get hit in the balls. Luckily, he was able to back away just enough so it wasn't nearly as bad. But what he hear about muscular, he is fuming mad. Everyone notices this as then bits of black whips are to wrap around him. Him just slightly being able to gain control of it all over again. As everyone is wondering, uh, are you alright? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just a little teensy wincy, bitchy witchy upset. <laughs> I mean, so many people have lost so much. Yeah, I'm remembering that. Yeah, Ida is still in the hospital. Trying to get feeling back into his legs. Trying to, you know, at least, hopefully, salvage whatever hero career he may have. And, yeah. Poor, poor Izuku. Now he has two revenge contracts. One for Stain. Of course, one for Muscular. Well, little did he know, he would meet them sooner than later. As we flash straight towards the villains, in which stain upon here bring that yeah this vigilante he's taking out a lot of villains he either cripples them or he kills them uh what yeah you see we figured out why he kills a few villains every now and again. And why he may be trying to kill you. Huh? What do you, <laughs> what do you mean? What would it matter? Chances are, this vigilante, he's slipped up every now and again. The villains he kills may be the villains who's actually seen his face and knows his identity. Someone who could possibly identify him. Really? Oh, yes. At the very least, that's the hypothesis we're working with. It's just a uh, theory. But time will tell if it actually bears any fruit. Hmm. So you really think this vigilante is just bodying villains just for the sake of doing it? No. <sighs> no, I do not think that it is their only motive. What do you mean? I think they're after you. Stain. What? Yes. Perhaps your victims have left someone behind. Someone who cares about them an awful lot. I. You're really saying someone's after me. That they're doing this. To villains because of me. Correct. Uh, I will 
won't deny that some of those guys were complete scum, but to, to do such brutality. Hmm. Yes. Indeed, do you do have that correct? This vigilante is being quite problematic. And since you are seemingly their target, would you like some protection? Should I take that as a yes? No. Really? You do know the vigilante could pop out any moment when you're out in the open. I want to test him. I want to see just what kind of person he is. <laughs> oh, you silly, silly, idiotic, naive man. We already know what kind of person they are. They are ruthless, calculated. They seem to not want to stuff at anything until they actually get their hands on you. Apparently we're doing you a favor by keeping you hidden in our little establishment. <sighs> so, are you willing to fight? For us, or would you rather want to take your chances outside, in which the switch lanty could pop out at any moment in the cover of night and take your life? <laughs> uh, glad to see we could come to an understanding, Stain. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> hmm? Oh, you're finally awake, muscular. Whatever. <sighs> no, the only reason that I joined this little elf is just so I can do whatever the hell I want. And right now, I just feel like sleeping, so pipe down unless you want to get stomped. <laughs> it wasn't something you really like to do, muscular. Well, I like fighting. Death matches are the most fun. Ugh. I would love to actually face someone who's actually worth fighting. Oh, just the thought of having someone go up against me in a bare knuckle, no holds barred brawl. Is that just so wrong to ask for? <laughs> oh well. I, for what I heard, the hero class is uh, doing some training out in the wilderness, muscular. You could uh, stretch your wings that way, couldn't you? What, you want me to kill a bunch of kids? Mm, yes. All right. Not uh, easy enough. But they better have some strong quirks so they don't die so soon. Uh, uh, wait just a moment. What? Bring me these people alive. If you would. <sighs> Alright, so who am I not allowed to kill?
Well, the ones we want are one Katsuki Bakugo, Tokiyami, and Izuku Midoriya. Hmm. Why? From what you have here on these files, they seem to be very interesting opponents for me. Well, except for that Izuku rat, he seems rather quick on his feet, but when it comes to power. Eh. Well, that's my business now, isn't it? Alright. And what about the other brats and heroes that'll be in attendance with them? Do whatever you wish. It doesn't matter to me. Really? I told you you can do whatever you wanted. I don't care. As long as you bring me those three students. That's all that matters. Are you sure that's all you want? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. There is one other person that caught my eye. Alright. Who? Ragdoll. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't be worth killing anyway. Yeah, I can do that. Stain, you'll be going with him, of course. Stain. What is it? You're sending us to massacre children. No, 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 no. I'm sending you to kidnap three kids and the pro hero. That's all. What Muscular does when he encounters those who aren't the target. It's up to him. Doesn't matter to me. <sighs> Why? Why kill? You are clearly not hearing me. I just want those four individuals. Muscular here is the one who wants to kill off the rest. That I don't need. Is that... Understood. I'm not telling him to kill anyone. He's doing that on his own accord. You're allowing him to. Well, I don't care what happens to the others as long as I get the individuals I want. They serve no other purpose. You what? I can't help you with this. <laughs> Need to remind you why you are here. You're not part of the League of Villains at all. And in fact, excuse me for saying this, you are dead weight right now. Though yes, you have a powerful quirk. At least helpful, given those right circumstances. You're just using up our resources, hiding from the vigilante who wants you dead, apparently. And he either hospitalizes or downright kills. Hmm. Villains. <laughs> Quite interesting. Well, you kill heroes you deem unworthy. He seems to only spare those villains who would not only spread the word of him, but also those who really don't know who he truly is. Yes. My hypothesis before seems to have more standing than I anticipated. So how about this? Wreak havoc, muscular. 
<laughs> what are you trying to make it so I become perfect bait? Of course not. I just want you to enjoy yourself to the fullest. I mean, who knows how long the fights could last against such pitiful excuses for combatants. Whatever. You may leave. I would like to talk to the stain for a little bit longer. <sighs> if you don't want muscular killing those kids, then I suggest that you be the one to stop him. I'm not going to do anything because I don't care. If you want to protect those kids, that's up to you. That is your decision. But don't come crying to me if Muscular wants to take off your head. Whatever. Now, I have an extra job for you. Besides uh, taking my important pieces. I would like you to keep an eye on muscular. Search for anyone who might be around looking for a, a potential opening to attack him. What? If my hypothesis is truly correct about him, whoever the vigilante is, they surely don't want their identity to be known. But, say you were to find out this identity. What? Oh, you heard me. Uh, how? Pray tell would I do that? Hmm, I have no idea. Be creative. Uh, uh, and you decide to have muscularly because as much as I hate to admit it, that brute he has a powerful quirk in which I doubt the vigilante has come across. Possibly prepared for, yes, but definitely may not be up to snuff when it comes to, you know, dispatching with him. <laughs> if I think he may actually choose to let Muscular live or he sure he's crippled. In which, yeah, he would be very, and I do mean very, open to an attack. Possibly to reveal who he truly is, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, I see your reasoning. Good. Because there's a lot I can do with such information. Truly. <laughs> so, how's that? Uh, so, you just want me to find out who this person is? Yes. If anything, knowing their identity would make it very helpful, <laughs> to say the least. It would be very uh, beneficial if we learn who this mystery person is, because as good as a job they're doing is still against the law. You understand? 
way you would <laughs> yes yes I would <sighs> you have no idea how simple it is to really control the narrative or at the very least make it so the big bad vigilante gets put away and punished for their crimes all to, to protect the citizens. <laughs> uh, uh, it's been so long since I've encountered one, one more, a vigilante. Where have the years gone? So much time has passed. I remember when quirks were still so new, raw, just like iron that needed to be treated, tempered. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Either way. Yes, you should, uh, you know, get ready with your partner, right? As, yes, that's pretty much how that whole conversation went down. <laughs> As, yes, that just happened. Now, we cut back to the force training arc in which Yaizuku has gotten better per se. The only thing is, he's not using Black Whip. He cannot risk it. <laughs> and someone just starting to really, like, okay, something about this seems off. Especially around the heroes who do know about the Vigilante and are definitely keeping an eye out. It's the whole fact that Izugu is increasing his percentage Slowly, but surely. By the time of the whole attack, Zeus already promised Coda that, yeah, don't tell anyone, but when I see Muscular, I'm going to kill him. What? As, yeah, Izuku, he actually does feel bad for Coda. Of course, of course he does. One thing is, he's a <laughs> I'll take care of him. How's that sound? You just said kill. Take care of sounds more tame. Don't worry. Your parents will be avenged. And you won't have to worry about those nightmares anymore. Uh, wait, how did you... Don't worry about it. Kurt does still run, run off to his little secret place, which Izuku has found him in. The only thing is, when Muscular does show up ready to kill Koda, over some petty shit of his parents taking away his eye. Izuku does make it in time, but he has an evil grin on his face. Muscular asks, who are you? Izuku Midoriya. Oh, happy days. I've been looking for you. What a coincidence. I've been looking for you too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be as yes, Zuko disappears from muscular sight, and muscular is already like, how in the hell did he do that? Completely being taken off guard when Izuku does gut chuck him in the stomach and. Yeah, Muscular, he is very intrigued. 
Huh. No one-liners. No catchphrases. Just straight to it, huh? We exchange a few words and... Yes, yes, Izuku starts blitzing him. Koda, he is safe all on the edge of a cliff. It's not as safe as I could I'll possibly be, given the circumstances. As he is watching Izuku pretty much dog muscular. It is until muscular actually does get the chance to use his quirk. And the quirk enhancer. In which... Izuku is shocked at the sheer volume and the amount of muscle fibers that Muscular is utilizing. He knows that he's going to have to go beyond the physical strength he's able to ever be able to use. But also, do I really reveal myself to this kid now? Uh, forget it. <sighs> hey, Koda. You hear about that vigilante, right? The one who cripples and or kills villains? Yeah. What about him? As Izuku wraps himself in Black Whip, Cloaked in darkness, as then two katanas form from Black Whip. As he looks back at Koda, remember my promise? Muscular is all too happy to see, like, oh my god, you're the vigilante. Yeah. Oh, this. I'm so happy I joined the League of Villains. Oh my god, this is, this is the best day of my life. Yeah. This is just a mundane task for me. As the muscular are about to punch Izuku, as soon as he throws it, his arm is chopped off. Him screaming. Well, see, he tries to rush and stop the bleeding, but then his arm is gone, then his leg, and his other leg, until there's nothing left but a poor, screaming, yelling hunk of meat. Muscular, he is terrified. Why are you killing? Our hero's supposed to be. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta be a little bad to do some good. Sometimes you gotta do something that no one else is willing to do. And considering you're about to kill a kid or something their parents did. I think you're well beyond saving. <sighs> he puts away the katanas. So, wait, so you're not gonna? Oh, of course I'm gonna kill you. What? You saw my face. You can't be serious. It wasn't my fault! I saw your face! You weren't! I wasn't hiding. I know. I was gonna kill you regardless. <laughs> no, 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 no. This can't be it. This, is, this can't be the way I die. Where, where is he? Where's Stain? What did you say? Is that their stain? Maybe if I... <laughs> yeah, yeah! Uh, the League of Villains, uh, Stain was with me when we were getting the instructions of what to do here. So he's here with you. 
where I, I don't know. We were sent here to capture you, Baku Gokoski, Tokiami, Ragdoll. That's all. I was going to kill the rest of the students and the heroes. Oh. What a shame. You shouldn't have said that. What? As Izuku sends a black witch spike through Muscular's head. Koda has saw the whole thing. He is both relieved but also horrified of what he saw. Izuku turned back to his happy go lucky self again, playing it off like, okay, let's go back to your aunt. And of course, as you can imagine, Koda is very hesitant to trust Izuku, let alone grab his hand. <sighs> Do you plan on telling your aunt and the rest of the heroes and my fellow classmates what you saw? If I say yes, are you going to kill me too? Hmm. No. No, I don't plan on that. I have no reason to kill you. Just because you know who I am doesn't mean you should die. You were a victim of this tainted world. As am I. Yeah. And so many other villains. And that's why I'm doing why I am now. Stain, he put me on this path. But after a little while, of doing this, I learned something very valuable. <laughs> you can't expect everyone to want to be saved. Not everyone wants to change. There'd be hero, villain, a regular civilian. Everyone's gonna have their opinions. Not everyone wants. Them. To be better. So that's why I'm doing this now. Stain. He started this. He made me want to be this way. But it's me who is continuing this continuing down this path I'm on. I can't blame that on Stain. I could have stopped it. I could have just let it go when he attacked one of my classmates and his brother. But no. I decided to do something about it. And here we are now. Uh, uh, um, I... <sighs> Either way, come on. Let's go. But what about... Still seeing Muscular's body? Uh... Hmm. Let's see if this works. Him shooting out Black Whip, enveloping Muscular... As you can hear the grinding of tissue, bone, flesh, as then he just shoots it straight down to, to the cliff of the mountain and is gone. How did you... Well, turns out that's a good way to get rid of evidence. <sighs> Nifty trick. 
If you... No, this is my first time using it. Didn't think I'd get attacked during a training camp. Oh well. As yes, when it comes to Toga Singizugu, yeah, she's maybe interested, but it's like, eh, he still look cuter if he was covered in blood or very much injured. As he is warning them of, yeah, they're about to go Tokuyami and me, so we might want to be careful. When Mr. Compress, or is it Dr. Compress, yeah, does end up capturing Bakugo and Tokuyami, Izuku is quick to dispense with the Red Hot Justice. Only thing is, he still can't risk you really utilizing Black Whip like he, you know, he did with Muscular or any other villains in Shigaraki. Hell, Oraka is still suspicious of how the hell did he do that. So, yeah. He has to be technically nerfed unless he can get Mr. Compress alone. So, what happens, he doesn't end up getting captured, but he is able to save Bargo and Tokiyami. Mr. Compress is very upset and shocked, like, how is this kid so powerful? And they are forced to retreat. Toga still is like, hmm. I should just lay low. Because luckily for her, no one's found her. When it comes to twice, he does crack a whole heap of jokes and then starts being all serious for some reason. But Izuku just can't stop himself from laughing at twice's antics. And who can really blame him? <sighs> Is everyone alright? Seeing Tokiyami and Bakugo are safe after breaking the marbles. Seeing that Ragdoll is still conscious. Pixie Bob did get her ass beat. Gonzo Aizawa. He has informed other heroes. The only thing is, yeah, mine's already over. <sighs> Uh, weird. I still couldn't find Stain. What? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Everyone's... Okay. He started to act all weird again. As he does in the calling midnight. Is... Okay. I just got a confirmation from, uh... A very interesting individual that Stain is typically with the League of Villains. No, that's impossible. What do you mean? Because Stain, he doesn't seem like the kind of person to. Yeah, maybe true. As then Izuku feels this sharp electrical surge. As a knife comes flying straight towards his face, him barely being able to make it. As he sees the silhouette of Stain in the distance. Him hanging up on Nurmi and heading off in that direction. <sighs> 